<laughs> this is a JZX100 Mark II, but they came as like an, a 1G, the GX100. So much space here, it's great. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, so it's the, ex it's the exact same chassis, just different engine. Automatic with a 1G engine in him, just gutless sedan. It's still the same chassis, but obviously just incredibly tamed down. Oh, nah, I'm not, I'm not the so there's so much space in this engine bay. Ben is uh, attempting to. <laughs> <laughs> this is just how big these cars are. Oh, so close. Yeah, yeah, we're so close. Oh, so close there. <laughs> if the engine wasn't in, <laughs> you actually were about Luckily, half a foot away. Automatic burn down outside. Oh. Super slow. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's going. Oh, hang on. Here. Meanwhile. <laughs> Big slow auto. So slow. <laughs> She's fairly gutless. <laughs> very, very not rings. Oh! <laughs> yep. Look at the mark. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Sword to bring. The inner wheel is just going bananas. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at the size of them! It's like fucking oh, wheelbarrow you wheels. You're in. You're in. Let's get him going. <laughs> 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 I did, I did this. This is the rear. This is the owner of it. Yeah, he owns it here, this little fucking spider. Yeah, I hit a curb at about 30 kilometers an hour. It's good smack. I didn't get it on camera. But uh, we were given this micro because it failed Irish inspection on rust. <laughs> Now we're now safe. safe. Yeah, now work away. <laughs> we always use the highest quality action stands around. Oh, holy fuck. No. Oh. oh, yeah. That's me. Come on. <laughs> Come into yeah. it. You force the brakes now. Uh -huh. Fucking. Oh, yeah, you can't steer straight. I off. can't steer it. Oh, yeah. Sound. Yeah, yeah, you're just going that <laughs> way. Just... Yeah, you need to come more than that into the wall. Let's go full. It's just going into the wall, like. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's totally okay. <laughs> See ya. What is holding that on, like? Yeah! <laughs> Mint! It's fucking fine. It's perfect now.
Flip has finished the outside of the RX-7. Um, yeah, we said we'd just give you an update on this. I actually hate red. It's like my least favorite color ever on cars, but I said I'd give a challenge to myself to see could I enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I went with the classic fucking, the yeah, Mazda classic red. And um, yeah, it's actually quite nice. The wheels are one color now. We went for white. They look fucking incredible. Yeah, they were silver, they were black. Ruben had the centers. Ruben gifted him the centers from one of Ruben's old drift cars. So everything just sort of came together. Relacquer on the L, garage BB wing. He just kind of cleaned up all the stuff that was already kind of being yeah, done to it. I actually, because the F chassis is a bit weird, uh, you can't get the, the front down low enough to match the rear. So what I did was I extended the quarters by three quarters of an inch. They actually should be here. Yeah. So I brought them down and then built the, the gap better just so I had a nice uh, curve because if I lowered the back more, the skirt would have been too low. Yeah, it was, that was killing me. So his idea was to finish it for the barbecue, at least get the outside going, because the car was like 10 different colors. I cut the, the brackets by half an inch and brought it in. It gave me a closer yeah. gap. So everything is nice and sturdy it's now and really, proper. Oh yeah, it's looking yeah. nice solid. Pin these back as well, these were gapped. Yeah. Pin them tight. And, and it actually brought it out like so. Room, yeah. Room. Obviously I wasn't super happy with all the red, so I did a... Yeah. So there's actually like a... Flake, it's purple holographic flake. Purple holographic flake. Now you can see it, yeah, I have it. Yeah. This is what everyone sees all the time. They're actually a sealed unit. Yeah, so you can't even change you it. Can't fucking... change it, that's it. So these are fucking 20 times better. Like, yeah, the just totally thing. freshen up the front end. It looks fucking amazing. Flip got this East Bear seat, nice blue Willens harness, Cusco blue on the cage, welded in the rear bar, which was supposed to be for my cage. Oh yeah, wow. Super limited edition, titanium juice box shift knob. Look at that. Whoa. That's very nice. It's a copy of the old Trust gear knob. So it's just superb. It's getting there. So I, there's, there's probably a lot more. I did this in like yeah. seven nights. Seven nights. And two full days. So Flip nearly um I nearly died doing nearly this. Nearly broke himself doing this because he just stayed here for seven days straight yeah. to get this ready for the barbecue. It's gonna get primer tonight, paint maybe in two days' time or so. She is primed. And it's half eleven at night. No life, half eleven at night. Okay, so today I'm trying to like get this thing painted but there is a massive massive distraction outside it's sunday and uh business to say it is basically just a, a rally track i left in a lot of shitty stress marks because i'm probably going to wreck this car so like there's stress marks here. Uh, there's a big crack in the wing where it was repaired before, but it was done really, really badly. Just left it a little bit ropey because my last car was too perfect and uh, it annoyed me. I couldn't. Yeah, you need to leave a bit of. Yeah, I need to leave a bit of fucking. Bit of relief out with I, this. I hit it off something. Yeah, like already I blew the side skirt off rolling it outside. The garage BB wing man is just. Oh man. So pretty the way it comes in around like this. I mean, cool. Stop him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, oh, it I did. put the sticker on, sorry, look. Nice. Oh, yeah, that looks great there. That's my intention when I made those. Yeah. The nice East Bear looks fucking very nice at home it's in there. It's a little faded, but I like it. That's cool. I, I really like it. The combination it. of the blues and the red. Very good. Yes, yeah, so I don't actually know if I talked about this thing yet. I've wanted to do this to this car, to one of these cars, for a few years. I've had four, five marches. I don't know. I just get a good kick out of it. The reason why I have him is because of this fucking guy. He gave me a micro a few years ago. We rallied the shit out of it and it wouldn't die. And I ended up falling in love. They're like fucking cockroaches. These are just bulletproof. They're so popular in Ireland and Europe. They're everywhere. From nannies to people's first cars. Micros are everywhere. And so are marches. This is actually a... Nissan March facelift 
And uh, what's different about the marches and the micras are, um, the marches have all these weird extras like electric mirrors, they've got air conditioning, power steering. Most of the Irish ones were kind of a poverty spec model. I don't know, I had a silver one that I got. See, having this in a facelift model, manual gearbox, and then um, past, we'd say 99 with the facelift front end from Japan is actually really rare. I managed to find a silver one and I was gonna do this to it. I bought it off some guy and he scammed me. So it was completely rusted out. And then I came across this one and it was green and it was cool. And I bought it off some old guy for, it was like 300 euro or something. I work in JDM Distro. So I got the wheels in work, the cage and a few bits and everything just started coming together. The wheels and tires came from Japan and they're actually like a little pretense of race tire on a Wedsport R5. Once I found out that they actually raced these in Japan, which they used to, they had a race series, the March Cup, and it was just 50 of these tearing around the track. I was just pretty excited by that. And then I started finding parts in Japan, like the cage and suspension and stuff. And the whole thing just came together. If you're my age, which is 30 years old, 3-0. The Calsonic livery was super iconic in Gran Turismo. And I, I just love the color. And we finally got a weekend, like last month, and we just, we just went for it. Especially all the parts were just there. This was the ultimate goal for this car. Like keeping the engine standard, because when they raced these in Japan, they kept them with a standard engine, but you could modify everything else. Kind of like Mark's TRD Vitz, which I'll show you here. Just try to keep it as authentic as possible. We have all the little features that these actually had when they raced them. Boom, put the tow hooks on. It is actually still my daily driver. I drive this every day like this. I, I love this, I guess. He loves it. Love it. He actually loves it. I swapped uh, my Micra for a can of Coke back yeah. in the day. That was the actual so he was uh, emigrating to Australia and I swapped him a can of Coke for the Micra, and that's what started this whole thing. I wanted people to pay attention to one of the most mundane, common cars in Ireland. And the fact that we have the March ones, because we bring them in from Japan, I got pretty excited, because I just love Japanese weird cars. Yeah, I really felt like it would be funny to just do this as an experiment. And I really like it. Fuck off. Welcome back, Barry. I'm here. How are you doing? Good to have you. How are you? Well, I had to build a special thing to hold stuff inside. Uh, there he is there. <laughs> Hello. Wow. <laughs> so you had to build this to hold this in place. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, that's not good, is it? No. Oh, well. Yeah. So we're back at it again. Yeah. After... A summer hiatus. Yeah, yeah, highness. We took the summer off of um, the car and sadly, there's always more to be done. So we're back at it with more rust. Someone said, if you stop looking for it, you'll stop finding it. I keep looking. But we keep looking. <laughs> Can't help it. It's so much fun. The misery is, is awesome. You get pleasure out of it anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, so we found more. There's some here and there's some over here. Oh yeah, you can cut it with a, a Stanley knife. That's really oh, cool. Oh yes. Mint. Nice. Beautiful. I'm not nervous anymore at this. That's the funny thing. Like, the first times we did this, it was like, ah, oh, fuck. You look like you're gonna cry when I cut your roof off. Yeah, we'll never forget that. Like, I genuinely, I wasn't ready for you to go. I didn't feel bad at all. No, no, no. Even what? about you. No, because you... <laughs> See, they don't actually rust holes, like... They're pin pull holes or... Yeah, fucking. yeah, some like fucking... Someone in, in, in Nippon has fucking done a, an ad hoc repair. Yeah. And been rather fond of the fucking... the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how deep is it? That's a lot Fuck. of... That's a lot of pudding. Oh well. Yes. Just think of it as it preserved the metal from rust. Yeah, of course. So it'd be fine. <laughs> Somebody ran out of talent. Someone ran out of talent. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll just insert a clip, old VHS clip of someone crashing into a guardrail with 86 there. <laughs> it's quite deep, isn't it? Behind every, behind every flap is a cornflake. Benson and Marley. Ooh. <laughs> Benson and Marley. <laughs> ah, that wasn't. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Nah. This lens is fucked, full of weld. Full of <laughs> Let's see if it fits first. I'm gonna trim it some more. Yeah, imagine trying to hold that in there. Yeah. Without that. So you've made a little... Yeah, and then we just bust it off and grind little it piece. flat when we're done. Oh man. your eyes technique again. Oh yeah, the safety squints. Yeah, you got the safety glasses on. <laughs> the safety squints. <laughs> oh thanks. That looks like mine. Yeah, you do look like Mad Max fucking... <clears throat> I don't know which one. I was like, I've got a costume for you later. I was like, nah, I'm going to work now. I'm like 20 minutes. It was great as loads of It's like we're in a vlog with the fucking music. We're just in a live vlog with the music. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I shouldn't say dogging, should I? Oh, like, yeah. That doesn't translate. In England, dogging is a completely different idea to what we call dogging over really? here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dogging well, over here is like doing, you know. Well, dogging over here is like out by the beach, bit of fun in the car. Okay. Someone coming over to either look or join in. Going south really quick. <laughs> need to make a window for the clip. Okay. So, need to fashion a hole. A little rough hole. Someone was waiting for a fuck off there. Yeah, it's good was, that you, was, it's good that you didn't. Like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> we're getting to the point where we're so picky that. Even the little holes like this, Barry's chopping them out just to finish them off. Because why not? Yeah. We've gotten to this point. Like at the same time, though, those little bits—if you don't, like it's more water going into your boot, yeah. and then you're starting 
rust all over again. Yep. Fuck off. <laughs> nice. Satisfaction guaranteed on that. Yeah. The back end will remain dry. Yes. Nothing, nothing worse than a damp rear end. No. The worst kind is a damp rear end. We said before that Barry was finished, and that was about four months ago. We thought that was the end, but uh, it never ends. No. See you, Barry! <laughs>